All right, so we're up here with the sheep. We got to um, get this one little lamb out of here. He is a boy, and these are all ewes up here. And he's getting big enough now that he can make his mama pregnant. And uh, we don't want to do that. So, um, and breeding season is going to be in a couple of more months. And we need him to uh, give his mama a break, too, so that she can get ready for the next season. So we're going to catch him and uh, put him in with the other boys. So he's going to become a bachelor. Look, there goes Nam. He's going to get him. Got him, Nams? Yeah. Don't let go. You got to take him down to the barn now. Yeah, no, you got to do it. <laughs> okay, so I got him. Didn't quite make a plan for <laughs> carrying him down there. I was thinking he was littler than this, but uh, yeah. So we're gonna take him down and I think we'll put him in the fence first and see how he responds and then mix him in with the boys. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so that was tiring. I just carried him all the way down. There he is um, from up in the top. Ridiculous. Now Rutabaga's kind of happy because Rutabaga hasn't had anybody to play with or watch, and now he's got somebody. Rutabaga, what do you think? He's just going to drink some water. <laughs> and that's the lamb. So in the fall, in the fall, um, he will go to freezer camp along with one of his brothers, and um, we'll use the skins as blankets we're actually starting to sell them now because we have so many of them so if you want a uh, sheepskin let us know um it's kind of it's a hard part of farming the uh knowing that you know you're raising this animal that eventually you're going to kill but it's also the reality of it it's where our food comes from it's um we give them the best life we can possibly give them and um it's just uh it's tough sometimes, especially with these cute little babies, but he's uh, he's getting bigger now and they're not quite as cute when they get bigger. So it's a little bit easier to deal with. Um, and then uh, the other aspect of it is like I was saying before, giving the mamas some time off, some time to recuperate. It's funny as they get older, the moms actually kind of start acting like they're tired of the babies and they don't really like the babies like they used to. So. Um, uh, I kind of like the part where we wean them and the mamas are kind of like grateful. The baby not so much because even though he's big, he's still nursing. Um, not very often and he doesn't really need to anymore. We leave him on for, you know, a few months with the mom so they get all the colostrum, all the healthy milk. And truthfully, the longer you leave them, the bigger and healthier they get. I mean, it's kind of like humans, right? The longer you can breastfeed, the better. So, um, again, the big thing though is that you want to just give the mom some time to rest, give the baby some time to get used to things. Um, this is kind of our like weaning pen. So it's the woven wire. Once he, uh, gets used to being away from his mom, we'll move him into the boy or the bachelor pen until, um, he's big enough to slaughter. But yeah, that's it. Um, let me know if you got any questions in the comments below. Um, let me know. Do you guys like sheep? Do you eat? Do you eat lamb? <laughs>